with many other children their age. These 5 to 11 year olds like nothing more than a Sunday afternoon game of football with their friends. Here in Sheffield, they're learning new skills and making new pals, thanks to the charity CP Sport. At the moment in this country, most people who play football, it's pan disability, where they mix physical with learning disabilities together. Um, and we had a strong demand from parents who were saying, well, look, we want to be able to play ambulance CP. They're playing it in the Paralympics, so we want to be able to play it as well. And these budding young footballers could be the Paralympic stars of the future. Tell me what you want to do when you grow up. Um, I want to be a professional Paralympian. Why do you like coming here and playing football? And so I can make friends with other people. They've got similar disabilities to me, so it's really nice to be with them. One in 400 children is born with cerebral palsy. Families from around the country came together to take part in today's session, which offered a unique sporting opportunity. The feedback that we've had um, basically is that there isn't anything much like this around. The kids really want to get involved in sports, they want to get involved in meeting other families, and it's, it's brilliant, it's a great, great thing for them to do. Run by volunteers and funded entirely by the charity, more similar sessions are planned to help more young people with cerebral palsy to achieve their goals. Zaterdag 23 november hield het gehandicapte platform Remont in de Jogerersal een kennismakingstoernooi rond de sport Boccia. Boccia is een mixspel voor mensen met een beperking dat lijkt op jeu de boel. Op deze dag werden vanuit de competitie wedstrijdsport 60 wedstrijden in de A-divisie en B-divisie gespeeld. Daarnaast konden mensen met een beperking die de sport Boccia nog niet of niet goed kende deelnemen aan een kennismakingstoernooi, waarbij individueel tegen elkaar gespeeld werd. Boccia is met name voor mensen met een cerebrale parese, oftewel een hersenaandoening met onder andere spasme. En sporters die vanwege hun lichamelijke beperking nauwelijks een andere sport kunnen beoefenen. Cricket Championships are the sort of pinnacle of a whole six months of activity around the country, but you really have to be here to kind of witness what it's actually like. Walk in here and uh, it's rainy and gloomy outside and the atmosphere in here has been fantastic. I think you can uh, see the winning team in the background who are uh, obviously happy, but that was uh, an example of the mood I think of everyone that was here, uh, here, here all day. The, the joy of hitting a six runs on the uh, table tennis tables is exactly the same as out there on the field, so which, is, which is great to see. The great thing about table cricket um, in particular is that it caters for a market that traditional disability cricket opportunities um, aren't reaching. Um, so, you know, table cricket for me, from an ECB perspective, is really, really important um, because it's, it's offering access to cricket to uh, a sector of society that, uh, that we're not hitting otherwise. I think the great strength of table cricket, and this competition in particular, is it gives a lot of children who wouldn't normally have the opportunity to play competitive sport that opportunity. So that's about teamwork, it's about um, self-esteem, it's about winning, but it's also about losing. Uh, and it's most importantly, it's about having fun. And we all take that for granted. Uh, but for a lot of these young people in kind of wheelchairs and things like that, this is really one of their really few opportunities to do that sort of thing. And to come to Lords, you know, home, home of cricket, where the ECB is based, our kind of natural heartland, it's a really special experience. In nine years I've been involved in the table cricket competition for the Lord Taverners now, and um, the attraction, I suppose, is just seeing the smiles on these people's faces. I mean, they've come from all up and down the country. Some of them are here for two days, you know, talking to them today, some of them. They're staying in a hotel for the first time. Um, not only that, it's the competitive spirit and the nature of the game that brings them together. 
and you know for a long time I should imagine in, in the special schools there wasn't nothing like table cricket and now that there is they can be more competitive and, and that's the way forward for them you know. Oh, the great thing about the event is it's around the country, uh, it involves a lot of children from a lot of different places uh, who, who obviously need the help of uh, and enjoy this competition so it was great for us uh, to be involved. Our staff get a chance to enjoy the game as well and participate with the children which has been fantastic for them. Very humbled, I think, uh, the first time I saw table cricket being played. And, um, you know, you, you come from a fortunate position such as myself in a TV background. Not everyone's got, a, you know, a hand of cards dealt to them as lucky as mine have been. And, and so, you know, I, I like to support anyone, you know, who's uh, the underdog, so to speak. And, uh, and it's been great today. And look, unfortunately, my team, Brookfield, never come anywhere. They, they've been here for the final for about the last six years, but they've never actually won it yet, because I was born around the corner from where they come from. So, so yeah, it's awesome.